In today's lesson, we're introducing the idea of electrolysis, a technique that uses large amounts of electricity to split up a compound into their component parts. We'll particularly look at it as the technique used for extracting metals, but the purpose of this video is just to introduce the equipment that we use so that you can match that up to what you would see on a diagram. So first of all, we need a power supply. And this is our power supply that we're going to use here, and it's set to 12 volts. Into that, I'm going to plug two wires. Our red wire for positive and black for negative. And at the other end of these are some crocodile clips. And I'm going to put in there a carbon graphite electrode. So now we have a positive electrode and a negative electrode. When I switch the power supply on, you can see that if I touch the electrodes together, the current is definitely flowing. You can see that because of the sparks that form. So if we're going to separate compounds into their component parts, we need something to separate. The example I'm going to use for the purposes of this is a beaker of water. Again, I'm going to switch the power pack on and put both electrodes into the water. You can see fizzing or bubbling around both electrodes. That's because a gas is being produced and that makes sense. Water, H2O, is made of hydrogen and oxygen and so the gases that are being formed here are hydrogen and oxygen. You don't need to understand why at this moment in time. But hydrogen would be forming at the negative electrode and oxygen would be forming at the positive electrode. You can see what happens there when I take one electrode out, the fizzing stops because the current can't flow because the circuit is not complete. If I wanted to prove that those were the gases being produced, I could use this, which is an electrolysis cell. The same idea, it's just a container with a solution in it, in this case water. And I'm going to pop crocodile clips onto the electrodes. And to hold it as low as possible so you can see it on the camera. And then going to pop over the top of the electrodes two little collection tubes that can collect the gases given off. Just let some liquid go in there. Again, when it's switched on, both electrodes are fizzing. You should be able to see the gases given off there, but the gases can be collected in these tubes and we could test them. Now, I'm not going to collect enough gas here to be able to test them on this, but we would see a squeaky pop from a lit splint with hydrogen and the oxygen would relight a glowing splint. But there you can see the setup for electrolysis. A power pack, DC current, two wires connected to two electrodes, a positive and a negative electrode. And they are either submerged down into, or in this case, up into a solution, which contains a compound that is going to be separated. And that's electrolysis.